We see a lot of unpolluted, genuine people here. These are wild hash fields. Nice smell and wonderful if you smoke. Really excited to walk through these fields. We walked about 16 kilometers today and reached a place called Bakshadi where we're going to camp tonight and we have a river next to it. Next morning, second day of our trek, we pack our food with little nuts, raisins, potatoes. <laughs> Raju Bhai is, is our senior crew member supporting our expedition and many more youngsters who carry the entire luggage of our team. Glad to have them. Mountains are calling and to hear her call is a pure joy. Except that my legs now, yesterday that... Ah, that's still there. <laughs> it's stiff, but I'm pushing. Mm, that's the thing. Descend now. That's even worse. Descend. That's my toughest. Yeah, ne? Mangre tension ye. Ne? Mangre tension. Oro pudin to arkumbo you kerenga agile, kerenga agile. You. It was a small break to have lunch. Half the distance to valley is our campsite for tonight. Tomorrow we trek down deep into the valley and camp next to the river. Day after tomorrow, we start climbing the adjacent mountain ranges. There are various names for each mountain range. It's all part of Great Himalayan National Park. danger crossing. Charan is helping each of us to get through difficult passes. He is our guide and a man who does things with his heart. He is the most reliable person at the moment. He's looking at the next set of trekkers to make sure things are fine. Mm -hmm. 
before dark, we arrived at our campsite called Supli. There's a small shed here and crew is setting up things to cook food for dinner, breakfast and next day packed lunch. Every morning we get up with great enthusiasm and a sip of hot water is a luxury here. <sighs> Ranjit is cleaning up the ice formed in the previous night. All are warming up for the day and we are all set to go. Roshan had a bad fall. Doctor is in action himself. In fact, he was hurrying to attend Jemsi's fall and an ankle twist. Raju <laughs> Kaka? It is a very slippery path, Suni being careful. Uh, oops, oh, it's okay. Uh -huh. Siddharth and uh, Oak. Himalayas has great flora and fauna to support the water cycle. Walk for half an hour, uh. then they will make the bridge. Okay. Either the bridge or they will do a walk carbiner. Karne ke liye na hai abhi. Pani ka. Ah. So they'll go across and see if the water is high. Uh. If it's high, then and they can't. There is no bridge. Then they will take us across with a pulley. So it's a half an hour walk. Water is very cold and strong current. Crew is transferring goods across the stream. As we lose time, the amount of water increases towards evening. So it's important we all get across the other side before getting late. made it across and we continue our journey. We reached a place called Duada where we're going to camp tonight. Awesome chapati is getting made, truly natural. Looking forward to have it later in the evening. After a cool bath, getting ready for the night, enjoying the nice breeze and sunlight before it gets dark. Evenings are spent with good amount of thought sharing sessions in its most relaxed way. We spend the night in the cozy tent. Morning sunshine is our first source of energy to continue our journey. And the landscape is lighted naturally to see its various forms.
Tina and Bhopal doing a very skillful session. Bhopal is an amazing trekking enthusiast who really helped team in moving forward. Here comes most challenging experience of the entire trek. Team trying hard to climb on rock and it's a very deep valley. I should say team did an excellent job. Leader is happy about it. How important is this small grass, you know, the grass which contains the water moisture and it feeds to numerous rivers. We see the glaciers far across and this is going to be our campsite today. Biju taking it in a very slow pace. He knows that the day is going to end. Let me relax and walk slowly. You can see the river, uh, river start trickling down. Uh, the glacier pond is b b uh, below that, you know. Now we are just, uh, just me and Samip took a stroll down from beyond this couple hillocks. There are a couple of hillocks. Uh, that's a base camp uh, where we camp for two nights. It's called Lahul Bati, the campsite, uh, you know, basically pastoral, you know, tentaments along the way. And then me and Samip, you know, slowly ambled up, you know, this, uh, you know, small mound and beyond that uh, got down. And that's where the glacial pond is forming, you know, for the you know, uh, origin of the uh, Jivanala River. That is. And I think uh, you know, there are other consecutive levels of, you know, uh, the glacial ponds keeps getting smaller. You know. One more small little you know, natural dam kind of thing was there. And then a huge basin kind of a glacial lake. And then the river starts. We are spending our night at an elevation of about 3675 meters above sea level, pretty much cool. This is our sixth day of our trek, passing through dried up glacier basins and climbing the highest pass of 4,600 meters above sea level, which is called Pankikalu. Hey, cheers Pranab. Sediments formed beneath the glacier pool. It's like walking in the moon. Second last day of our trek, and this is our last camp. It's difficult to part these boys because we were like a family. <laughs> 
इतना थैंकफुल धन्यवाद बहुत धन्यवाद इतना अच्छा है आपका किसी ने गर्म पानी मांगा तो फट कर किसी ने दूध मांगा फट करके किसी को उसको ना नहीं बोलते हो और टीम और पार्टी के लिए धन्यवाद सुभारत को मेरी माँ इस भारत को मेरी माँ का उठा देंगे इस भारत को मेरी माँ का उठा देंगे हे That's from the heart. That's from the heart. That's from the heart. seventh day of our trek and we are trekking down the mountain we have reached tree line seeing greener pastures seeing cows we met few shepherds so we feel we are coming back to people and life we used to have <laughs> Jai Ram, Jai Ram. 